Many of you know the Titanic could have indeed been saved and nobody would have died that fateful night. In today's video we will be talking about the SS Californian's role in the disaster of the Titanic. The Titanic struck an iceberg 400 miles off the coast of Newfound, Canada. At the time the vessel struck the iceberg, there was another ship just approximately 10 miles away from the Titanic. This ship is known as the Californian. The captain of the Californian was Stanley Lord. Earlier on the 14th of April 1912, the Californian had been sending very many ice warnings to ships nearby like the Titanic. Many of the ships abided these warnings and reduced the speed of their steamers. Although the Titanic did the opposite, the operators on the Titanic instead told the Californian to shut up and that they were busy doing work. This was on the same night that the ship collided with the iceberg. The Californian turned off their Marconi system just before the Titanic struck the iceberg. It is said that they turned it off at exactly 11.40 pm, the exact time the Titanic struck the iceberg. After she struck, the captain ordered to send distress signals. Although the Californian was not getting any of these signals as their Marconi system was off. The closest ship to the Titanic at the time was the Carpathia who was about 58 miles away from the Titanic. The Titanic could see the Californian in the distance and decided that they needed to get her attention another way. With this, they decided to send white flares up into the sky so the Californian's crew could come rescue them. The Californian was not moving anywhere as it was stuck in ice so it would not be leaving the Titanic. The Titanic continued to send distress signals until their Marconi room went underwater at around 2.10 a.m. on the 15th of April. Meanwhile, on the Californian, the crew was very queer about what was happening. They couldn't quite see the Titanic but they knew it was a passenger ship because of the masts on board. The crew on the Californian thought they had probably stopped because they, like the Californian, were also stuck in ice. One could argue that the Californian would have heard the Titanic's distress signals, although they actually couldn't. This is because of the theory that warm air rises and cold air falls. On the night the Titanic sank, the air was very cold. Thus, when the sound waves were released, they would almost immediately fall back into the water being pushed down by the cold air. Another could argue that the Californian could see the Titanic's distress calls, Although the Californian argued back saying that they thought the Titanic might have been communicating with another ship from the same shipping line. I although think this is false. In my opinion, the Californian knew that it was the Titanic that is sinking, and they chose not to help. They chose not to help because of how rude the wireless operators had been earlier that day and because they were risking their ship getting hit and damaged by an iceberg.